Hello, welcome to the Mason Libraries tutorial for Business 103. In this tutorial, you will learn how to search more efficiently and effectively in the business databases using Boolean operators. When beginning your research, start by breaking your topic down into related keywords and concepts to help you search more constructively. A keyword is a word or concept of significance that can include related terms, broader or narrower topics, and synonyms. For additional help with keyword development, go to library.gmu.edu. Navigate to the Learn tab on the upper left-hand corner of the page and select Tutorials from the drop-down. Select Student to gain access to the Student Tutorial page. Then finally select the Conducting Research filter and check out our Making a Concept Map video tutorial. A concept map is a handy tool that will help you develop productive keywords easily. Having a list of keywords is not enough to begin searching productively in a business database. You will need to know how to connect your keywords to have a more effective search. Boolean operators can help with this. Boolean operators are words that can be used to link or exclude keywords. When used in library databases, Boolean operators can make each search more precise and can save time. The most common Boolean operators are the terms AND, OR, and NOT. AND narrows a search by combining two or more keywords. This is a good way to combine different areas of your research topic to ensure that you are finding results specific to what you need. For example, when you use AND to combine the keywords corporate culture and leadership style, you're letting the database know that you want both of these topics to appear in the search results or broaden search results by including synonyms. Sometimes the words you are using to search with aren't the words that are used in the source you are trying to find. For example, you might be looking for corporate culture and leadership style articles in this search, but the article you really want is focused on management style. To include all of these keywords in your search, you would use or. Not helps to narrow a search by excluding unwanted results. Typically, not isn't part of an initial search, but it is used when you have too many irrelevant results. For example, over the course of your search, you start to narrow down the topic you are interested in. You want to focus more on corporate culture and less on leadership style. By typing corporate culture, not leadership style in the search box, the articles that will appear will focus on corporate culture and not on leadership style. Now that we understand what Boolean operators are, let's try using them in a database search. A library database is a searchable electronic index of published reliable resources. It will provide you access to a wealth of useful research materials from academic journals, newspapers, magazines, and more. Mason Libraries offers an extensive database resource list. Navigate to the homepage of the library website. Once there, select the big blue button titled Databases. The library databases are arranged in alphabetical order and a database can easily be found using the search box on the upper right hand corner of the page. Type business source complete into that search box. Then click on the business source complete tab that appears and the database will open. In the business source complete database search box, type corporate culture. And in the second search box, type leadership style. The Boolean operator AND should already be set between the two boxes. AND search. The results should include articles on both corporate culture and leadership style. Now, let's change the operation to OR. The results will now include articles on corporate culture or articles on leadership style. Finally, let's change the operator to NOT. 
The results now include articles on corporate culture, not leadership style. Thank you for watching this tutorial and using the library. If you have any questions or need more advanced search help, please consult your business librarian, Joanne Henson, at jhenson3 at gmu.edu, or look over the business subject guide for up-to-date contact information.